Hey, how's it going? And today we are going to explore render targets. This is just a introduction, quick and dirty introduction. And it's basically a remake of an older tutorial that's completely out of date. And so I wanted to bring it into 2023. So this won't take very long at all. We're just going to go into games, first person, and just go create. It just takes a second to load up. One good thing about Unreal is that you're never done learning because it's constantly changing anyway. So I don't think anybody's ever on top of the whole system. So anyway, to start this, we're going to go ahead and go into textures and go render target. And this will allow us to basically project onto a two dimensional plane and create textures and materials and cool things. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and just call this RT underscore test and we double click on it. And we're going to go ahead and dock it so we have it for reference. And all we're going to do here is just change the X and Y size in powers of 2. So this is going to be 10, 24, 10, 24. And that's all we have to do. And we're going to leave this set at the default RGB A. So we got four channels all coming in 16-bit. So we're good on that. Save that. And then just come in here. Now we're going to right-click. And we're going to go ahead and create our material. And this is kind of fun. This isn't hard at all. Go M underscore noise. And we're going to double click into this. And we're going to switch our view here into a square so we can see it a little bit better. And then we're going to change our shading model to unlit. And you'll notice this changes when we do. And now we can just right click and search for something called noise. Go noise and go ahead and put that into emissive color. And you'll notice we see noise now, so we just need to get a UV map on here. UV. I guess I need to look for a texture coordinate. Texture coordinate. And then we just, if we plug this in right now, we're going to get an error because this is 2D and this is 3D. So we need to add a vector on here to make it 3 so what we're going to do is we're going to press 1 and click and get a value. And then we're just going to add it to this. We need to actually append. So we're going to right click and search for append. And it's a append vector right there. And so all we have to do is put this into here and this into here. And once we put this in, you'll see a texture come up. And it's kind of cool. Very turbulence looking and if you double click on this in its details panel you can play around with these since we only have zero one to one space to deal with we might as well put that in the right space and if we turn turbulence off we can kind of get back that more turbulence so you can come in here and play with all these values and come up with all kinds of crazy different things and but we're going to leave that for another day to mess with that but that's basically your noise pattern that we're going to use so now we're almost done. Now what we want to do is we need a way to get this material rendered over here. So we, there's a node that'll do that for us, but how do we how are we going to coordinate that in here in in this level? So we need a editor utility widget. There used to be one called Butility, but it's been deprecated. So we're going to go ahead and right click and go to editor utility widget right here and we're just call this my widget and we're just going to go ahead and double click into it. And this is your standard UMG interface, so it comes in with the canvas panel. I don't think it needs to be that big. So we can drag that down a little bit. And then we can just go button. We need a button. We need uh, to create some sort of interface. So we're kind of doing it ourselves now, where before it kind of came in already built for us with the utility. And if I click on button here, I can just go draw material like that. We're building just basically our own user interface within Unreal Engine right now. So on the button, we can go size to content. We probably want to have this up in the upper corner there. So maybe we want to anchor it kind of there. All right. And that's so that'll be our button. So just like in any widget, now we can just come down here and go to on clicked and then all we have to do here is drag off of and search for something called draw material to render target, which is exactly what we're doing. We're drawing a material to our render target. And we have our two assets right here. So 
Our render target is the one we just made, which is RT test, and our material is the M noise. So I might have to search for that a little bit. M underscore noise. And there it is right there. And I go compile and save and go into first person. And basically we're done. So all we have to do now is come to my widget, right click and go run editor utility widget. And there's our button right there. And you'll notice if I click on this, I guess I can kind of undock it here a little bit. Or if I had a bigger window, I'm just done. Oops, I want to expand this out. There we go. And if I hit my widget, you'll see our texture comes in. And then we have our channels up here where we can turn them off or on. And that's step one. This was just a quick and dirty introduction into the render target. And I hope to do a couple other tutorials going into more depth of where we can go from here. So anyway, take care, have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time.